Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a new foundation. This is going to be a foundation Friday. I haven't done one of these in a long time. The Huda Beauty Foundation. This is what it looks like. If you guys follow Huda Beauty on Instagram, you guys know this foundation just came out. This foundation is available at Sephora and the Huda Beauty website. So this foundation, I believe this foundation runs for $40. I paid $80 for two of these, so I believe it is $40 even. Um, I got the color Gingerbread. I also got the color Toffee, but the color Toffee is way too light. So I will be showing you guys what I think about this foundation, my first impression, and what it looks like while I try it. I believe there are 30 or 40 shades in this foundation, um, so you can find a shade for your skin tone. Uh, I think that's a great amount of shades. I picked my shade by using a chart that I saw online and it had like some comparisons with other foundation shades um, so I don't necessarily know where I saw that but I will try to post it um, in my description box if I can find the link to it I will give you my full thoughts once it's kind of settled into my skin later on tonight so uh, I'll be back to show you guys that but in the meantime let me go ahead and show you my application of the foundation this is gonna be a foundation Friday I'm not gonna be doing a review but more so a first impressions I've never tried it and I just got it in the mail so I thought this would be like the perfect time for me sorry I'm just getting everything situated here so I thought this would be the perfect time for you to try this foundation on camera so this foundation is New, it just came out on Friday. This is a new release that just dropped on Friday. So this is like hot off the press newness. I haven't seen anybody do a review on it yet, so I wanted to try it for myself and let you guys know what I thought. So this is the Huda Beauty Foundation. I have two colors here. I have um, Toffee and Gingerbread. Not sure which one is gonna be mine. They look really, really similar. Um, and I don't think they'll be too light. Uh, I think I should have gotten one shade darker just to be safe, but I feel like these are close. This is a neutral. Gingerbread is a neutral. It's a 430 neutral and for toffee is 420 gold. It's a, it's called the Huda Beauty Fold, hashtag Fold Filter Foundation. Um, and it is a high coverage cream effortless application, camouflages, imperfections, and pigmentation, soft focus filter finish using a pump or less. Um, so I'm guessing that it, it does claim to be a very full coverage foundation. Apply foundation evenly all over the face with a dense brush or beauty sponge for best application paired with Perfection Pre Makeup Base. I didn't get the primer. I'm just, I don't think I need a, another primer. I really don't. Um, even with the Fenty Beauty uh, primer, um, I just really didn't feel like it was anything spectacular for me to keep using these are what the two foundations look like this one is toffee and this one is gingerbread so the packaging to me isn't really showing a huge difference gingerbread looks a tinge warmer gingerbread is right here so you can see it looks a little bit warmer in the packaging um, but for the most part the packaging isn't like making it look frosty or ashy it always throws me off when the packaging doesn't actually when the packaging doesn't actually show um, what the foundation is gonna look like. I need to moisturize my lips. And I am gonna be using this this foundation with a brush. This is my mixing pan. These are the two foundations. Toffee is the one on the left. Gingerbread is the one on the right. As you can see, gingerbread is a little darker, so I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, Toffee's not my color. I can already tell. I can tell by just looking at it. I'm gonna use the Farsali um, Unicorn Essence. Uh, just to prime my face. It's not necessarily a primer, it's more so like a serum, um, but I feel like it helps to balance my skin underneath my makeup, so I can't not use it. Um, I'm not gonna use like a mattifying primer. I always try not to use a mattifying primer. I wanna get the true, the true application of the foundation to like kinda get a feel for what it feels like without using a mattifying primer. I'm not a mattifying primer person anyway. I just don't like them. I feel like they make my skin dry and it makes my face even more oily. To me, that's just how they work. Um, I'm gonna take some of that one pump and I'm gonna paint that. Oh, let me see. Let me blend this out. On my chest area, it looks like it might be a good match. Yep, it is. It's a good match for like my neck and my chest area. Um, yeah, that blends in perfectly on my, on my chest. It doesn't look bad. Mm. Mm. It looks like it's matching like my neck and stuff. So I'm gonna do one pump. So I know on my forehead, this is gonna be too light on my forehead. I am not gonna blend too much up there. I'm just gonna use this in the center of my face. Once you get to the outer edges, 
You see how dark my forehead is compared to the rest of my face? But it's always my struggle. Foundation smells good. It smells like perfume. Interesting. It is coming off full coverage. I mean, I'm getting a lot of coverage on my dark spots. My face is always a little bit darker than my neck and my chest. That's always the struggle for me when it comes to like matching my foundation. It's like, if it matches my face, it's too dark for my neck and my body. But if it matches my body, then it's it looks too light on my face. So don't be alarmed, guys, okay? It looks like it's too light, but it's not. It's just too light for my forehead. Do you see that? As far as coverage and everything goes, it's looking decent. I have a lot of dark spots around this area of my face here and I can't really see them. So um, that's good. So I'm actually going to use a different foundation on my forehead. I'm actually gonna use the NARS um, Sheer Glow Foundation on my forehead uh, in the color Macau, which like I said before, is definitely too dark for my whole face, but it looks great. Blend that down. And this is the Smashbox full coverage foundation brush. First initial thoughts about the foundation. Blends nicely. It smells really good. It smells like perfumey. I don't even know why, but it smells like a perfume. It smells really, really good. I don't know if there's perfume in it, but that, cause that kind of would alarm me. Some people are allergic to perfumes, so I'm not sure if that's like a good thing. But so far I'm really liking the coverage. I mean, it still looks like skin, um, I don't really see it like breaking up or anything like when I was blending it out with the brush and I'm pretty heavy handed and as it's settling onto my face it doesn't look too light. It might be, this smells like really, is this the foundation or, oh something smells immaculate. Gingerbread is a neutral um, so it's not very warm but I think if I went one shade down, it might be too warm. So I think that this perfume, this has perfume in it. This this Huda foundation definitely has perfume in it. I'm, it's not gonna break me out. I don't have sensitive skin like that to where perfumes and dyes and stuff break me out like that, but I know some people are, so I just want you to be a little aware, but it does smell really good. Okay, as it's settling on my face, uh, the colors are, it's its looking pretty good. The color's looking pretty good. I think we're Gucci with this foundation. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back. All right, so I have my full face done. I have the Fenty gloss on right now. This is Gal on the Moon and I really like this gloss. And this is what the foundation looks like after it's settled into my skin and everything. It matches actually really, really good. Like I thought that it was too light at first, but after like letting it warm up on my skin and stuff, it seems as though it matches my body pretty well. Um, I actually think it works pretty well for me and as I go into the winter time, it should be golden. I don't think I would go any darker than this just because I feel like if I did, then it wouldn't match my neck and my chest. My thoughts on it, to be honest, it wasn't really anything that wowed me for the first impression, I would say. Um, I think that it's a great foundation. It smells amazing. It's really lightweight. I don't feel it on my face doesn't feel heavy you know some um full coverage foundations feel really heavy like the Kat Von D one or like other full coverage foundations are like Mac Studio Fix Fluid they feel like paint this does not feel like anything on my skin it just blurs everything I don't have any dark marks showing I didn't have to use any ac extra concealer to like cover up anything even though I don't really have a lot of acne right now I feel like it might look good um, over textured skin. I do have some texture here in this area, but for the most part, it covered pretty well. Um, I don't know, I think the packaging is nice. Doesn't feel too like fancy. It almost feels like plastic. To me, it, that, I, that's not really a big deal. It does have a pump, so that's another plus. And that's the only thing I don't like about one of my other favorite foundations, the NARS uh, Sheer Glow, is that it doesn't have a pump. So it's like really hard to like get it out of the bottle. It doesn't claim to be an, um, a mattifying foundation or anything like that. So it's not necessarily going to control oil, I'm assuming. So I don't have on a primer, but I will come back later on. So I will show you guys uh, what a good six hours of wear looks like. After trying it once, I like it. I don't know if it's gonna be like my holy grail. It's not anything that's like wowing me, but I'm gonna keep trying it and let you guys know what I think about it. But for the first impression, I like it. I don't have any issues with it. I think it blends nicely. It looks good. 
so yeah that's it for my first impression i will be back later to show you guys the results after some hours uh it is currently 12 30. i actually fell asleep so i mean this is a pretty good update because usually when i fall asleep my makeup looks terrible afterwards i mean it looks pretty good it didn't separate or anything i don't know if y'all can tell i am oily but i'm not extremely oily so i feel like it did a good job of controlling oil a bit my pores are open here so a lot of texture but like i only see creasing in my laugh lines um everywhere else looks pretty good my forehead even like my forehead usually my makeup's like starts moving and you can start to see like my spots and stuff come back but i don't see any damage it looks pretty good other than the oiliness which can easily be fixed with a primer i think this is a pretty good foundation i will not complain i don't have any complaints um, from the pictures, I've gotten a lot of comments saying that it looks like skin. It looks like skin and the color match is really good, so that's good too. I mean, this is a solid eight. I'll give it a solid eight. So if you guys have any questions, I'll have all the information you need in the description box. Other than that, thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Peace out.